Hey, welcome everybody. We are driving up on Ventura Sport Fishing because we're going to jump on board the Island Spirit for the 2024 Rockfish Extravaganza. It's the opener today and we're going to bring you along with us. And Ventura Sport Fishing is one of my favorite places to fish in Southern California. Not only is the fishing so great, but the crews and the personnel there, well, they are just so nice. I know you're going to enjoy it if you make a trip up there here really soon. Don't forget, if you'd like to fish with Friedman Adventures on board the Island Spirit, our next trip is May the 31st, and you can join us. You just need to send me a text, and I'll book you on there. 657-227-6459, and you can join us on that May 31st trip. Or if you want to jump up there before that, and every other day of the year, Ventura Sport Fishing, the Island Spirit, the California, and the Endeavor awaits you. Get up there Good and morning, hit it. my friends. It. I want to bring you along on a journey today. It is the Rockfish Opener in Southern California, 2024, and we're going to be on board the Island Spirit with her great crew here at Ventura Sport Fishing. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll bring you all the action. Come along for the Rockfish Opener with Friedman Adventures. So, what's up, yeah. mi hermano? ¿Cómo estás? Doing? It's good, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for you, coming man. Out, we had such a good time That's here. That's awesome. Awesome. And uh, one of the first people I saw this morning was you. Yep. And you've always got that bright and early uh, smile on your face. Absolutely. Absolutely. Welcome when you get the through the door. Yeah, absolutely. So there's people who've never been to Ventura Sport Fishing, mm -hmm. people who've never been fishing before. Right, right. So they get to the landing, they come in and see you. Yep. What happens from there? Can they get a fishing license? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we do sell fishing licenses here. Um, if you don't have one, just show up with your uh, picture ID. We scan it, we print you out our license, get you ready to go on the trip. Okay. So if you don't have one, you can bring your picture ID, any form of ID, um, passport, birth certificate, whatever you got that shows us it's you and we'll take care of the rest. Perfect, that sounds good. And then once you get in here and if you want to rent some tackle, of course you can purchase all oh, kinds absolutely. of tackle. You absolutely, absolutely. How much are rental rods? So we do have rental rods available for rent if you come out on our boats. Um, they're $20 a piece. All our rent rods are top notch. We keep them fresh line all the time. Uh, the backing, the top shot, they're ready to go every time on the, on the trip. So you can rest assured when you drop your line down, the equipment's going to work. Yeah, I, I saw that. And in fact, people who are new to this game, mm -hmm. like a brand new fisherman, right, right. I feel like they can come here, rent a rod, and the crews are so great. Oh, absolutely. That, that they're gonna take good care absolutely. of people. Absolutely. Um, if they've never used any of these, we use nothing but conventional reels or yeah. brown reels. Most people, when they come out, first time fishermen, you know, they use spinning rods. They're used to holding it like this. We'll show them how to use it. The deckhands are more than happy to help them out, show them how to engage them put them in free spool, how to cast them, drop down the line, and set the drags. Perfect. Uh, in terms of parking, what's the deal with that? Do, do you have to come in here and get a parking Absolutely. pass? Absolutely. So we do have parking passes. These are our parking passes, little yellow stickers. Um, they're $5 with us. If they go to the kiosk, it's a little bit more money. Yeah. We give them a discount for coming fishing with us. Um, here, what, what we have is uh, two, stall, two cars per stall. So we have double up parking. Um, they can park facing the water or the street. And we also have a free parking lot in the back lot. If uh, they get here early and there's space available, then they're more than welcome to park in the back. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And restaurants, they like if I get here early, are there any restaurants nearby? There's oh, a absolutely. ton of stuff yeah, around here, yeah. right? In the, in the harbor, there's plenty of stuff. Um, we're right next to a, a restaurant ourselves. It's called The Water's Edge. Um, there's restaurants across the water from us. There's breakfast spots. Um, plenty of good food around here. Perfect. Uh, and the hours here, you got seven days a week now? We're seven days a week wow. now since uh, rockfish season started today. You're going to have hair like me one of these days. Eventually, I'll get, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> 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 um, so there's restaurants, plenty of food. Um, they could uh, go over there, get a bite to eat, come over here in the mornings. Um, I know one of the breakfast spots opens pretty early, so yeah. if they're that hungry, but I would wait on it. I would get a breakfast spread oh, on sure. the boat. It's a they thousand so times good. better. Yeah, 100%. Or get yourself a boat burger, way better. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I, I can attest to that. I just had one, man. They were yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. Hours here? What so are the hours? We're, we're in here now Monday through uh, Sunday. Um, we'll have somebody here from 8 a.m. all the way up to 10 p.m. if wow. I have a boat going out at night. If not, normally I'll have somebody here until uh, 8 o'clock at night. But oh. we'll have, anytime you call us, Phil, there's going to be somebody here. Okay, perfect. And speaking yeah. of that, it's 8.05. 
Six seven six three four seven four, seven four, four right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the website is VenturaSportFishing.com. Yeah. Yeah. Anything so. else? Did we forget anything? No, I don't think other so. Other than giving you an abrazo? No, 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 no. You got it all, man. No, thanks for coming out. Appreciate, bro. Appreciate everything. It's such a good time, and you're a big part of that. Oh, hey, we try to do it, man. We're small, but we're big at the same time, so. Thanks, Howell. No, absolutely, Phil. Good Thank to you see for you. coming out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Phil. How are you? I am great, man. Rockfish Opener 2024. Good morning. Let's do it. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, I used to work on this boat, but <laughs> a lot of our folks out there have never seen it. Want to give us a little tour? Yeah. All right, perfect. Show you guys where everything's at. So this is our lovely crew to start off. This is Davin. Davin, what's up? Hand. This is Parker. Parker! Learning the ropes, helping out the guys. Good for you, buddy. And this is Ron. Hey, Ron, what's hello, up? Hello, hello. Good, good to see you guys. Got them all Got uh, them working the already. ready for the trip. Yeah. If you want to follow me up this way, sure. there's our galley in here. Absolutely. One of the most important parts of any oh, fishing yeah. boat. Nice and roomy. Yeah. Oh, we got Bert here. Sir. <laughs> I didn't know this guy was the galley cook. Right, right yeah. on. Look at that. Bacon, carnivore. You got me all covered here, man. I got to take this call. Yeah, go ahead. My boss, man. Yeah, no problem. Right, Dude, is there anything better than the smell of bacon in the morning? Nah, can't oh beat my that. God, I'm already hungry. And coffee. Thank God I'm on the carnivore diet because yeah. I can just munch out. You know, one thing that impresses me just looking at the boat, I mm -hmm. forgot how much room there is and for big guys like me you know trying to slide by with two guys yeah. not a problem here. no not at all yeah beautiful uh, yeah so we're up on the porch here typically we uh have people store their tackle bags up on these shelves yeah. under them and then uh we got this whole this big box back here oh that's huge that serves as seating and tackle storage as well yeah um there used to be a bunk room on this boat so we got a a lot a lot of storage down here but we uh typically don't want you guys uh, crawling down in our, our storage area. <laughs> well, if you want, we can take a lap around the boat. Yeah, let's do that. Space there is. Just don't sprint. You yeah. know how old I am. <laughs> but yeah, we got uh, a lot of rod racks. Got See plenty that. of rod, uh, plenty of spots for your rods to go. Uh, some Whoa. seating up in the bow. Nice. Uh, yeah, I like that, nice, man. Nice size bow to throw a jig on. Yeah, and I was gonna say there's yeah. plenty of room to chuck an iron up here, right? Oh yeah. In fact, my brother and I were up here last year bouncing barracuda <laughs> over the rail, so nice. it was great stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, like you said, pretty spacious. Yeah, it totally is. Um, wheelhouse is, is up that way. We'll, we'll check that out a little bit later. later. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And uh, that's about all. We got some eager passengers that want to come on the boat, so I think we're going to let we, them on. We better do that. Here. That sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to go call him down. All right. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the beautiful island spirit out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Well, Captain Daniel said he had some eager people ready to come down. He wasn't kidding about that. Everybody's ready to go for the rockfish opener, but also some truly wonderful people. Great people showed up for this beautiful fishing day. The weather was perfect, and the people and crew couldn't be any better. On today's trip, we have a combination of squid and sardines, live bait also. Many of the guys will recommend that you bait one hook with the squid and one with the sardine, and then watch to see what's the most effective on a given day. Good morning and welcome aboard the Island Spirit. I'll uh, introduce the crew to you real quick. On deck, you got Davin. I don't know where he's at. Where's Davin? All right, Davin's up there, and you got Ron. Raise your hand, Ron. There he is. Uh, Parker's also helping out. In the galley, you got Bert, and my name's Daniel. I'll be your captain today. Uh, safety stuff, guys. Uh, we have life jackets under the galley benches here. Make sure you check out where those are at. Uh, we have five fire extinguishers on board. We got one in the wheelhouse. We got two in the galley. We got one in the engine room and one down here in the bunk room. Um, one uh, real important safety thing, guys. If you need to puke on the way out, please don't lean over the side. Just, just do it on the deck and we'll hose it off. We don't want anybody leaning over the side and possibly falling over anything like that. So uh, don't be embarrassed. We, we've all seen it before. If, if you need a puke, just go ahead and do it on the floor and we'll, we'll hose it off. It's not a big deal. Um, also guys, our life raft and EPIRB is on top of the house. We've never had to use any of that stuff and I hope we never do. It's just uh, important for me, to, uh, for me to tell you guys where it's all at just in case of an emergency. Uh, any questions about safety stuff? No? All right, as far as fishing goes, um, 
As you guys know, today's a rockfish opener, so we're going to start off our day fishing rockfish on the east end of Anacapa there. Um, not sure exactly how deep yet, but you're going to want a 16 ounce sinker. So I'd start with a heavy weight, like a 16 ounce sinker and a double dropper loop rig. So two hooks, um, probably like size 3.0 circles are the best. Uh, if you want to use a J hook, you can, but the it's pretty advantageous to use a circle hook when you're that deep just because uh, the fish kind of hook themselves if you have a hard time feeling the bite. Um, so we'll start off doing that, kind of see how it goes. We might go deeper, might go shallower. Uh, at some point I really want to go inside and try to catch a sea bass or a halibut. So we'll, we'll do that for a while before we have to go home, but we're going to start off fishing cod. Any questions? All good to go? Alrighty, we'll get rolling here guys. Oh, uh, one more thing, if you could see bird inside and sign in, just find out what bag number you are. It's going to be, uh, if you catch a fish, you'll let us know what number you are so we can put it in your bag. And also, if you want to order any uh, hot food or drinks or anything, you'll put it on your number and you'll just have a tab to pay at the end of the day. So make, make sure you know what number you are, sign in with Bert, and he'll be collecting for jackpot also. It's a $10 entry fee and the single biggest fish at the end of the day wins the pot. So uh, for all that good stuff, go see Burton's side, and he'll also have breakfast ready in a minute for you guys. All right, we are all set to go and all set to learn how to rig up for these delicious and colorful rockfish today. Parker, how are you, my friend? I'm good. First of all, you walk up to me and tell me that you're a huge fan. Yes. That means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we're fishing today, rockfish opener, man. Yes. I'm excited about that. What are we doing? What kind of rig? Um, we're going to do a double dropper loop with the 16 ounce. Very we're just cool. going to kind of test the waters. We're going to start with the 16 just because yeah. the current might be big. Yeah. We might start at 500 feet, but I'm excited. Um, we're going to probably head to the Channel Islands, probably fish the gap. Nice. And, um, That's Anna Kappa, right? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, probably later in the day, we'll try and get some sea bass and halibut. Oh, man. And you talk 500 feet of water, man. There's some quality fish. Yeah, there's in that some depth, really right? big fish. For the uh, longest time, the the very like the long like the big depths they weren't open, but yeah. since now they're open, a bunch of people are fishing them and pretty good quality rockfish. Gotta love that. Are these the hooks we're using? Yes. What are these? They are uh, three yacht circle hooks, I believe. Okay. And he mentioned circle hooks are a really good idea because. Sometimes you're not setting the hook on the fish. Yeah. This kind of takes care of that for you, yeah. right? Yeah. The, uh, the fish kind of just eats the bait and it kind of just gets perfectly in the side of its mouth. So you're tying a dropper loop. Yes. I don't know if you can show us exactly how to do that. And of course, if a person comes out and they don't know how to do it, you're here yes. to Yes. So I like to kind of wrap it in a little loop like this, kind of just so you have a circle. And I like to do it in my mouth because it's easier. Yeah. But you could just do it, like, do a bunch of wraps. So you're doing wraps right now, right? Yes. Okay. Once you have around, like, six to ten wraps, yeah. I mean, the heavier the line, the less wraps you need. Yes. You just stick kind of your big circle part through the little circle you made. And you just pull it tight. Pretty easy, right? Nice. And you just have to practice that yeah. over and over and over again, yeah. right? And then, is there a right way and a wrong way to put the hook on? Um, yeah, so you always want to put the hook on facing this way because if you do it the other way, it gets tangled with your line. Oh. Sometimes when you're using heavier line, it's kind of hard to put the... Um, the eyelid through the uh, little hole of the hook. But if you have it hanging out like this, it won't get tangled. As you can see, it kind of floats out. So it has like a million hooks. Like stays yeah. away from the main line. Yeah, and doesn't Perfect. get tangled. I love it. Perfect. And then you're going to add another hook and yes. then a 16 ounce torpedo? Yes. Beautiful. I think that does it, man. We're all ready to go. Thank you. Now all we got to do is drop and catch some fish. Hell yeah. Good job. Of course, putting the bait on the hook is really important. Yes. And there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Yes. We're going to do the strip and the head. Yeah, so Take we're going to start off with the strip. The most important thing is the squid dangling off the hook. It gets the fish to bite. So first, there's many ways to do it. 
but the way I like to do it is you hook it through once like this and then you rotate the squid at a 180 degree angle and hook it on just like that. So the theory here is Parker that it it's way it in the water is enticing a bite. Yeah it makes the fish go crazy. Yeah I love it. Yes. Perfect. Now then, with the head is there a different way to do that? It's pretty easy. All you really got to do is look, find where both of the eyes are yeah. and just hook the eyes. And then easy. this angles off. So if you had to choose between the strip and the head, do you have a preference or not? Uh, I mean, I really like the heads just because when you hook them, the juice from the eyes comes off. Yeah. The fish love that. And plus, you've got all the tentacles dangling. Yeah, right? it makes the fish go crazy, like all I right. said. Beautiful. Good job. All right, Parker. Now we're gonna do live bait. You got a sardine? Yes. There's gotta be the proper way to do it. What is it? It's very simple. All you gotta do is hook it under the mouth. It's kinda hard, but once you get it under, you wanna go in, push. Don't be too hard, because we don't wanna kill the fish. Just right through the top of the head. So you are, in essence, closing the mouth of the bait. Yes. So it looks natural, right? Yes. Otherwise, you got to fish with its mouth open. It looks weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty simple. All right. So I can see that now. What do you prefer to fish? The cut squid or the live bait? What's the difference? Do you target different species by fishing the sardine as opposed to the squid? Yeah. So for the sardines, in my opinion, it's better for the rockfish. But the squid works very well as well. Yeah. But for the shrimp, or for the squid, sorry, it's it's mainly for the white fish just because they don't really eat these big sardines because right. they have such small mouths. Yeah. It's really good for the rockfish because, I mean, this is just like a big, it's a big Snickers bar for oh, the totally, rockfish. Oh, totally, right? It's, yeah, it's, it doesn't get much better than this. You're it's gonna... a jig, beat, it beats off plastics. It's, it's the best thing to use on the boat. Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to catch reds, lings, yes. grouper, salmon grouper, Plenty. Uh, all that stuff. Yeah. All right, perfect. Good job. Thank you. Hey, Daniel, you know what? It's kind of nice to be in person with you. I love the right? remote broadcast yeah. that we do, and we're going to be doing those all year long. But nice to be here in the wheelhouse. We're heading out, rockfish yep. opener. What's the game plan? Yeah, so we're going to start off in the deeper water here, kind of on the east end of Anacapa. Um, you know, fishing locally is new to me, so I got a lot to learn. I'm going to try some stuff, check it out, uh, try to find some fresh new rocks with some biting fish, and go from there. See how much time we got to spend on that before we uh, head inside and try to look for an exotic. You say that local is new to you. We should make it clear that you were on the Endeavor yeah. for a lot of years with Tucker McCombs, Absolutely. right? You should tell that story, how you <laughs> and Tucker actually got together. How did that happen with a giant halibut? Oh man, well, I think I told the parts of that story in one of our episodes, yeah. but um, I used to go fishing with my dad almost every weekend when I was a little kid, like yeah. starting when I was maybe like eight, nine, ten years old, and that's around the time that uh, Tucker started running the Mirage, so as soon as we went fishing with him, we that, that became our favorite, you know, boat and crew and operation and all that, so we kind of stuck with, uh, with Tucker there for years and years and years. And uh, yeah, one summer, about five years or so into knowing and fishing with Tucker, he put me on that uh, junior record halibut. And, you know, by that time I was already like 14, kind of was interested in working on a boat. And uh, a few years later, he, uh, you know, got the Outrider, then he got the Endeavor, and he uh, just sent me a message on Instagram asking if I was interested in trying it out. So. I was in college, I wasn't really enjoying it. I was uh, about, I think I just turned 18 years old and I was just kind of not, not digging college. It really wasn't for me. And yeah. wanted to just give something else a shot and here we are. <laughs> that halibut was what, yeah. 50? 55, yeah. 55 pounds. That is an amazing yeah, it's a, fish. It's a brute. All right, so you say your local knowledge is not what you'd like it to be, but You've been under the tutelage of all these guys, yeah. Cody Rogers, and Absolutely. you've got Tucker. You know where you're going. Yeah, no, We're going to catch on, a ton of fish today. I, I know we are. I those guys for advice, and, you know, fishing is still fishing. I've uh, had the privilege of learning from Tucker, who, you know, I, I think is pretty damn good. and um, One of the best. If not, he's way, way <laughs> up the food chain. Yeah, it's a good guy to have, you know, teaching you yes. how to, you know, run a boat. So I'm pretty excited to kind of just... Uh, 
take some of the stuff I've learned from watching him and getting instructed by him over the years and uh, apply it to this half day we're running now. Absolutely. Bringing it back to today, the Rockfish Opener 2024. Mm -hmm. Dude, yesterday, the day before, freaking gale force, rain, thunder, lightning, everything else. And yeah. It's gorgeous today. It's, no, beautiful. it's beautiful. We got a tiny bit of residual lump, but not much at all. It's uh, about as nice as it gets, you know. This is this is really nice weather, and I'm very thankful for that. So excited to get the day started here. We're about um, 11 miles, 10 miles from where we're going to be fishing. Oh, so, quick! Yeah, not 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 too far of a ride. We'll be there at about 9:30, and uh, try to get lines in the water pretty quickly. It's so nice that I actually forgot my freaking sunscreen. I hope I've got a solar. Oh, got I got some. a solar panel here, as you can see. I've got some for you. Beautiful! <laughs> I knew you could take care of that. All right, so. We're on our way, looking forward to the rockfish yes, sir. opener and uh, maybe a halibut, maybe a sea bass, who knows? Maybe, we're going to try our butts off for sure, um, but we're going to throw some fish in the bags first. You know, everyone's really excited about the rockfish opener, so we're going to, you know, give that a, give that some time, give it a good shot, and then uh, go from there. All right, let's do it! Let's do it. Now, right off the right hand side, if you look forward, there's a whale if you guys are interested in seeing that. There it is, you get that? Nice. Hell yeah. Hey, we're up here in the wheelhouse of the Island Spirit. We're trucking out to make our first rockfish drop, but we see a couple of gray whales off our bow. You know, curious thing about the gray whales, they make the longest mammalian migration of any animal on the planet. It's about a 10,000 mile round trip from the Bering Seas in Alaska down to the warm water lagoons of Baja California and then back again. It's a fascinating journey. We are so blessed here in Southern California to be able to witness this every single year. Starts out about December and then you are seeing today some northbound whales. They are returning from the Sea of Cortez back up to the Bering Sea. It is really great and it's just another wonderful thing that we're able to experience here on the Island Spirit on our journey out to the rockfish grounds. Great stuff. And hopefully this thing's gonna pop up again here shortly. Nice, guys, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Scott, way to go. Two, Number two. Beautiful fish, man, love it. Very cool, I got it, yeah, nice. Thank you. Come on, man, that makes life easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I love that. You feel like you have any fish? Uh, my, I saw the bite, but nothing. One earlier, but let's see. Liking this so far. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many. Hey, that's all right. That's your first fish, right? There you go. First that's one. It. Good job. Doing the slow pitch here. Good job. Nice on the slow pitch. Hey, buddy. No. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Very nice, beautiful. Love it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna shoot a photo. Nice. Right now, nice catch. Good job. Love it. Very nice. Good job. Way to go. Got one. I think I have a double on here. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice. Ron, that's a good one, huh? Go jump in there, Parker. Beautiful Parker. fish. Parker, nice. Love those things, man. Yo. That's cool. Man, nice going. Right here. Very good, you guys. God, Daniel, a little short, right? A little small. It's about 20 inches, so we're going to... How big do they have to be? Uh, they've got to be 22 inches. 22. Always good to know your size and possession limits or turn to the crew. They're the professionals and know exactly what they're doing. Hey, that's a good one. Nice, Mackie, good job. That's a good eater right there. Nice ling, buddy. Is that your first ling? It is. Ever? Ever. 
God, that's a nice fish. Yeah, Beautiful. Put us on the fish. What'd you do, man? Uh, I just dropped down deep. I thought it was a tire. Was it a sardina? You no, got... no, just squid. Beautiful. Squid, sir. See those teeth, man. Wow. Check that out, man. That's a beautiful fish. Hey, Daniel. Uh, successful day of rock fishing. Had yeah. a lot of fun. Everybody's got a big dent in their sack. Now, what are we doing? Uh, we're inside tight here trying to pick off a halibut or two before we have to go home. Um, there also was some sign of sea bass in here last week, so kind of just poking our nose in here and trying to find some... Uh, some sandy bottom to drift over. We're here. Looking for a spot of bait as well. It'd be nice to see some bait I could drift over. We're in the, on the backside of Anacapa Island. Yep. And you're getting pretty tight to the island here. How shallow is it? Yeah, right here it's about... Right here it's about 30 feet of water. Okay. So we are getting pretty shallow, but um, this is where we've been catching them. It's... Uh, Seems like the right depth for halibut this time of year with how cold the water is. Um, it's been working. Good deal. And you like the dropper loop, right? Just the regular old dropper loop. Correct. Yeah. I uh, I really prefer the, the conventional dropper loop for this kind of fishing, but uh, I know a lot of guys like the reverse dropper loop, and that's totally fine. I've seen it work great. Um, but... Uh, I think the biggest thing is just having a nice looking presentable sardine you want your sardine to look lively and to be you know kicking and swimming swimming around down there just want it to be nice and presentable so just making sure that everybody has a nice lively sardine on and um get to drifting here in a second man it sure is beautiful back here oh, isn't yeah. it absolutely Go ahead and let them go, guys. Get a fresh sardine on your hook and drop down to the bottom. It's uh, just a hair under 30 feet here. All right, we'll hope for some good luck on the flatfish. Yeah. Though we gave it our all on the backside of Anna Kappa looking for a halibut or a white sea bass, conditions were not optimum. So Captain Daniel said, hey, you know what? Let's go hit some rockfish one more time and see if we can't put a few more fish in the sacks. Nice chuckle. Let's see that. Nice boys. All right. Nice fish. Great fish. There we go. Hey, Pez Blanca. <laughs> they are biting. Nice, very nice, very nice, boys. Good job. I said, look at that. Beautiful. Good job, guys. On two, three. Another nice one. Beautiful. Perfect, man. You're all clear. Well, it was time to point our bow back toward Ventura Sport Fishing. On the way back, the crew cleaned up the fish so everybody on board would go home with some of the most delicious eating fish in the sea. And when it's fresh like this, you've got to eat it in the first couple of days. You will not believe the quality. Part of every single trip on a sport boat has got to be a good boat burger. And let me tell you something, Bert absolutely provided us with some of the best boat burgers I've ever had. They were great, including one that is named after Captain Daniel Hottaway. The Daniel Burger, man, we want the verdict on this. Can you taste the peanut butter? Big time. Really? Oh, is it terrible? It works. It really strangely works. It's good? Mustard, yeah. peanut butter, jam, it really? works. Uh, the Captain Daniel Burger, it's got <laughs> a quarter pound beef patty with cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion, 
banana peppers, and peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. Andrew! It it's works. Good? I, I would get it again. All right, uh, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> hey, Daniel, thanks for a great day, man. Thank we so had much, so Bill. much fun. Including, I just had a friggin' protein burger. I'm a carnivore, so yeah. it was so good. And I watched somebody eat your <laughs> uh, Daniel burger down there with the peanut butter and everything, oh, man. Yeah. That looked uh, good. It is good. I had one of those earlier, too. <laughs> yeah, Do you Bert, have one? Bert does a good job. He's he does. A, he's he's a good really cook. good. And yeah. your crew was, I was talking to uh, Rick. He has a bakery in Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. And he was saying how respectful the crew is and how delightful they are to fish with same thing arthur was saying that yeah, awesome. uh, down there so yeah ray reviews good fishing man i mean everybody caught some rockfish and yeah. we gave the halibut thing a try didn't bite but yeah. still the fact that on a half day trip we're at the islands we're fishing rockfish yep. you give the halibut and sea bass a try it's great man yeah we tried just didn't really have the conditions for it today we uh kind of had the current ripping into the wind so the boat was hardly moving we uh couldn't get coverage it didn't really work out for the game fish today but uh yeah i was pleased with the rock fishing it was a uh, pretty nice quality yeah definitely had a uh, good fishing on the reds grouper caught a you know a few link cod that was pretty cool to see um yeah overall uh fillet bags look pretty good the they sacks do. look good uh yeah we had a good time weather so, looked good too right yeah. i mean it was beautiful today yeah yeah good weather uh, nothing to complain about for me. Uh, everybody was awesome, super nice, super friendly. Uh, another day in the books. Mm, yeah. Fun one. I yeah. hear you. I hear you. So as we look to the future, um, you're going to continue on the rockfish thing. But as we move ahead, you know, there's going to be more surface fish, more halibut, more white sea bass, barracudas should move in, bass bite as yeah. the waters warm up. And you're what? Seven days a week if you get yeah. enough people, right? Yeah, we're online every single day if we can uh, get enough people. We, um, we'll be out tomorrow. We do have some spots open still if you guys want to come out. Uh, we definitely do need more to get out on Wednesday. I think I only got two people signed up, but uh, we'd be stoked to get out on Wednesday if we can get uh, some more signed up. We got our uh, Western Outdoor News Rockfish Rumble on Thursday. And then uh, we're open party Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with uh, some reservations already as well. So plenty of, plenty of opportunity to get out with us. We'll be uh, rock fishing while this water's cold. Um, we'll be no. trying the game fish thing every day. And then, um, you know, as soon as this water warms up, we're going to kind of broaden our horizons a bit and try to do some of the surface stuff, bass, barracuda, hopefully, just uh, waiting for the right time to do that as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And the best way is what? To call the landing, to go online, either or, yeah, right? Yeah, either I or guess. works. Um, there should be somebody in the landing uh, for most of the day now that the overnight boat is out. There's someone there in the evening as well. So uh, you can give the landing a call at 805-676-3474. Um, that's our landing phone number. And then our website is VenturaSportFishing.com. All right. Can't thank you enough, thank man. Thank you so much, Great Phil. rig. Lots thank of you. fun. Appreciate everything today. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. It Thank was a you. good day. What a day out of Ventura Sport Fishing. I'm bored the island spirit, the fishing, the boat burgers, the great crew, and the wonderful people who assembled to come out on this glorious rockfish opener in 2024. I've got to tell you, they were some of the best people I've had around me in a long, long time, including the people who showed up at the landing to greet us. That was spectacular, and I deeply appreciate it upon our return. Hey, get on the island spirit out of Ventura Sport Fishing really, really soon. I'm telling you right now, you will have the time of your life. What a great crew. What a great boat. What a great operation. You are going to love it. I'll tell you one thing. I'll be doing that very, very soon. Take care, my friends. Hope you enjoyed this latest presentation of Friedman Adventures and the Rockfish Opener of 2024. Lots more content and shows all year long, including lots of remote hookups, with Captain Daniel and other captains out of Ventura and elsewhere. Take care, have a great day, and thanks for spending time with us here on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. <laughs>